So good afternoon, good morning. This is Mark Johnson from Loyalty 360. Hope everyone's happy, safe, and well. Wonder to welcome you back to our Loyalty Expo Meet the Speaker series. In this series, we will be hear from the upcoming speakers who are part of this year's Loyalty Expo uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina from October 25th to the 27th. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking with our keynote speaker, Justin Patton. He is an executive coach, leadership presence expert, and an award-winning author. So Justin, how are you today? Hey, Mark, I'm doing well. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you very much for taking the uh, time to talk to us today. For those who are not familiar with you, uh, I think you have a very unique background. Uh, and would you uh, please give us a, kind of a brief overview of your background and some of your experiences? It'd be great uh, for those who uh, don't know you to learn a little more. Yeah. So I'll kind of start big picture. I think everything that I get to do is really getting people to think differently about their presence and how they use that to really create trust. Um, when I was 18, my dad unexpectedly passed away. And like anyone that goes through a life event, you start questioning like, what am I going to do? So for me, I was like, I think the biggest thing I can do is to be a school teacher. So I actually became a high school English teacher. And Mark, I always tell people, if you want to know, if you want to do well in school, you better figure out real quick how to keep 30 kids engaged while they're looking at you. And so that was my passion for teaching. And I did that for about five years. And after that, I got a call in corporate America and ended up running the national sales training department for Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield, studied body language from a lady in the FBI, which is so a lot of my initial kind of career was really understanding presence and body language and how do we use that to connect and, and engage with other people. Um, ended up going from there to Yum Brands, where I ended up teaching leadership and communication skills globally for them. And then was eventually able to go out and start my own speaking and coaching business that now I've written three books, ran, you know, led the largest leadership development program in Taco Bell's history, became a faculty member for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, and really just get to go around and coach executives and speak across the country. Okay, great. And I know uh, at the upcoming conference, you have a couple of sessions. One's a member-only session, and one is uh, the, the, kind of the, the general keynote on the second day. Uh, the one is uh, looking at trust and what the best leaders do differently. And the other is, uh, you know, four breakthrough steps to, uh, you know, better uh, efficacy in leadership, business, and life. Can you share a brief overview of the, you know, the, the two sessions and what you plan to, to speak about? Yeah. You know, when it, with the one that's specifically on trust, when I was at Yum, the former CEO, he used to say that the customer's experience will never exceed the team member's experience. And I love that because it has been true time after time with every team that I've had the chance to work with. And so we're going to we're going to talk about what we know. We all know that trust is important. And I don't know about you, Mark, but I hear all the time. Time is money. Time is money. But I'm going to try to elevate that conversation and show people why it's more important that we talk about that trust is money. And so we're going to talk about how, how do we actually build trust, whether it's with our direct reports, whether it's with our customers, and what do we do once the trust is broken? And then specifically, I think you asked me about the other one too, in regards to the other program, um, I've always believed that if you want to be a great leader of other people, you got to first be a great leader of yourself. And I'll tell you what really, why I was excited to work with this group and what I appreciate about Loyalty 360. You know, the best programs I've ever went through developed me more as a person, not just as a professional. And I know that part of when we, when we got to talk initially, you were looking for a program. Yes, that we're going to help people become better brand marketers and develop their skill set. But how do we just develop them as people that they can use these concepts in all part of their life? And so this program is really going to challenge people to, to say, how do you show up as a parent, as a partner, as a brand marketer? And what can you, what pulls us out of showing up our best? And then I'm going to give everyone in that room very specific exercises that if they lead other people, that they can go back and do with their team. So they drive some different conversations and get people to think differently about how they're showing up with their customers. Excellent. And, and what are a few key takeaways that attendees can expect to learn? Yeah. So if they're in the trust program, very specifically, we're going to talk about these four facets that actually build trust, how to um, recover once trust has been eroded, because it's going to happen. And what do we do when that happens? Um, the other program that's going to be for everyone we do that keynote is understanding, do you even know who you are when you're really at your best? Understanding the number one um, reason that we get pulled out of that. I'm going to give everybody a tip real quick. So, you know, obviously I told you I have a body language background. So I always ask people, which won't be in the keynote, but I say, do you know, if I asked you what is the number one or the most honest part of the body? 
And I'll ask people to respond. Mark, what would you say? Just guess, because you're going to guess like everyone else guesses. If you had to say the, the most honest part of the body, what would you say? Hands. Yeah. So most people either say face or eyes. Other people will say their hands. It's actually your feet. And your feet will always face the direction you're most comfortable. And so we talk about how do we show up and be fully present with people. And here's the last thing. I'm just a big believer that we should be having fun. I think people that laugh together learn together. And so my commitment is in that session. I'm going to obviously share some stories and they'll be funny. But we'll be in, there'll be some exercises that we do. But I think we can have fun in the process of trying to learn um, as well. Okay, great. Um, who do you think would most benefit uh, from attending these uh, conference sessions? <laughs> well, I'd like to say everyone, Mark, but that would be my ego probably. But I would say if I had to narrow it down, I would specifically say that anyone that is leading other people and that, that has direct reports um, needs to be there because we're going to be giving them specific things that they can go back and do with their teams. You know, so much I think of the content that a lot of the content of this conference will be how do we as an organization target directly to the, the customer, the end user. But I hope the angle that I get to take is to say a lot of it's also happening with the people that are on our teams that are having the direct interaction with the customer. So what, what can we do differently with the way that we coach and develop our teams so that they can go out and create a better customer experience? Well, that's awesome. I'm uh, very much looking forward to uh, both sessions. And uh, Justin, thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us today. Uh, should be some powerful stuff. Uh, we'll see you at the end of the month. You got it. See you all there. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone, for uh, listening and looking forward to seeing you at the end of October. Have a wonderful day.